Greetings and salutations. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. My name is Eric Moss. I'm a personal trainer, motivational speaker, and a modern day performing strongman. If you're unfamiliar with what a modern day performing strongman is, picture the old time strongman. Legends of the past like the mighty Adam and Alexander Zass, they would perform real life feats of strength as part of a live show. I do a similar thing, but with a modern day twist. Some of the feats of strength that I've performed in front of a live audience include things like bending steel bars, breaking chains with my chest, twisting horseshoes, rolling up frying pans, driving nails through wooden boards by hand, and even holding back a high performance motorcycle while taking off a full throttle. Now, being a modern day performing strongman and the fact that there's not a whole lot of us around these days to answer people's questions, in an effort to grow my YouTube channel by giving you guys what you want, I started a YouTube series called Ask Eric Moss, where I would invite you to ask me a question by dropping it in the comments below. And when you, when you do that, I try to get back to you with your very own custom video answering your question as well as anybody else that happens to have the same question. So, this question comes from Manaswaran4549. Eric, can you tell us about your dynamic training, such as how many exercises you do and sets and reps? Thanks. Thank you for asking that, and thank you for your support, Manaswaran. So, as far as my dynamic training, <clears throat> it evolves throughout different, um, I, I like to say seasons. I think of strength and seasons. There's going to be times when I switch out certain exercises just because I'm like, I just sick to death of this exercise or um, I might be testing out a different program or whatever, right? But there's certain principles that come about. So one thing is I believe in sticking to basics. I try to stick with things that are going to make me stronger in a balanced sort of way overall that contribute to not only my all around strength, but also my physique. Um, Cause I'm of the opinion. It's like, it's not just about performing the feats of strength on stage, but also being able to help a friend move a couch, handle myself in a scuffle if I need to. And also, I think that, like, I like looking a certain way when I'm on stage. You know, if you think about what it is that I do, I'm kind of like a real-life superhero in front of some of the audiences, and superheroes are expected to look a certain way. Uh, <clears throat> and I also like looking that way for my, life, for my wife and stuff like that, right? And it's also good for my personal training business because they want to see a person that looks the way that they want to look. So in terms of exercises, I do bench presses, I do weighted chin-ups, I do overhead presses with a barbell, I do overhead presses with a kettlebell, I swing clubs, I do squats, I do deadlifts, I do hip thrusts. And as far as like how many sets and how many reps, it varies on the day, it varies on the cycle. Um, what I try to do is I accumulate sub-maximal reps over time. <clears throat> I very, actually, I don't ever max out. I have no idea how much I can bench press. Um, I, there, I don't remember who originally coined the phrase, but that's one that I apply to my own methodology is I don't want to find out how strong I am by finding out how strong I'm not. So the only time, so like, let's say in a, a 10 minute set, I'm training with a weight that I'm very well capable of and I'm getting a lot of volume with it. And the only time that I might get close to failure is on that final set when I just go all out, but I don't ever intentionally fail. I'll flirt with failure, but I'll never take her home. She's bad news. Um, I also believe in volume before load. Earn it with volume before progressing a load so that by the time you add load to it, your body's been acclimated and it's, it, 
it can handle it no problem. So, <clears throat> um, how many sets, how many reps? Well, what I'll do is in a 10 minute time frame, I'll take the volume that I did last time. And if I'm adding load, I simply just try to achieve the same volume, knowing full well that there's an inverse relationship between volume and load. As one goes up, the other one is naturally going to come down. But I also know that over time with those submaximal reps, it's going to lead to getting the maximal reps stronger. So in a way to stay organized with like that 10 minute time frame is like, let's say I've gotten 60 reps with a given load and I add a little bit of weight, just a teeny amount, like maybe five pounds. If I'm adding it that week, depending on how much volume I'm getting, I might not add it at all. And then I'll divide that number by 10 so that it's, if it's 60 reps, that'll be about six a minute. So then I have like a, a timer on my iPad <clears throat> that will go off every, it'll beep every minute on the minute for 10 minutes. And then every time that beeps, six reps, six reps. And then, then on that final minute, if six reps is not an issue, let's see if I can get seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, maybe within that without failing. But at that time, it's like, I've gotten plenty of reps under my belt before even dancing with failure. With squats, I don't generally go below 10 reps in a given set on this particular cycle. It's like the first set will be 15. And then second set will be 10. Third set will be 10. And then I will add a rep to each set. So it'll be 16, 11, 11, 17, 12, 12, 18, 13, 13, 19, 14, 14, 20, 15, 15. And then I'll add five pounds and I'll start over again. So it'll be 15, 10, 10. So that by the time I've gotten to 20, 15, 15, <clears throat> adding five pounds, not a big deal. My body's like, yeah, that's not much more. And this is actually less volume. So whatever. On a deadlift, I might do like kind of a wave load. That's one of the reasons it's hard to answer this. So like, let's say on a given set, maybe I'm capable of like eight, nine, 10 reps. <clears throat> and I'll do like five sets of two, five sets of three, five sets of two, five sets of three, five sets of four. This is across like multiple training sessions, five sets of two, five sets of three, five sets of four, five sets of five. And then when I've gotten to that five sets of five, add a bit of weight, start the cycle over again. This way I'm accumulating without coming close to failure, but it's still challenging enough to build my overall strength <clears throat> and without really need for a back off. So one of the things is like, and this is one of the reasons I don't like to comment on other people's workouts is if you were to look at a singular session, it doesn't tell the full story. What I like to look at it is what is the big picture? Where does this relate in order from like where we came from compared to where we're going? <clears throat> so anyways, I hope that answers your question. I know it's, it's like a loaded question. It's really difficult to explain all the ins and outs of it. But I hope that gives you something to work with. If anybody else has any questions, uh, drop it in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you with your very own custom video. But if you like this video, let me know by hitting that like button. If you want to see more of this sort of thing or you want to see the chronicles from my performances, subscribe to the channel. If you think anybody should see this, please share it with them. And of course, if you want to help support the channel, um, you could buy a copy of my book. It's available on Amazon. I know everybody that read the book has loved it. And I know that when I was writing this, I was possessed with the muse. It just kind of flowed out of me. I remember thinking after having read Mick Foley's autobiography, someone had said that 
they wanted it or that, that it felt like they were having beers with Mick Foley while he regaled you with tales of his life. And I wanted to have the same sort of feel to my book. But maybe instead of beers, maybe it'll be a cup of coffee. In which case, you can also support the channel by buying from goodforyoucoffeeclub.com and using the promo code MYPOWER10. My cousin started that company, <clears throat> so it's a way of supporting both this channel and helping my family out. Um, I came up with the promo code MYPOWER10 because I oftentimes joke that coffee is a source of my power. So... If you put in my power 10, you get 10% off of any order that you do. <clears throat> so, yeah, like I said, if you want to su support the channel, copy the book, cup of coffee, maybe both if you're up for it. It's The coffee itself is really good. It tastes really good. It doesn't have mold or pesticides or any of that junk that, that you sometimes find in coffee. But I guess, uh, yeah, you know what to do. That is it for today. In the meantime... Please stay happy, healthy, and strong. Eric Moss, over and out.